what is up guys welcome back to a brand new video sorry for the hiatus i actually had to move the table where i do like my recording and stuff out of the room so i didn't really have any place to record but i did want to film the collection video for the end of the year and i want to film this haul before i did the collection video so those two videos are kind of things that i wanted to bring up before the end of the year uh i've got only manga today or part a plus one anime games and stuff will probably be stuff i'll be getting like for around christmas time so I'll probably may, may have a separate haul just for games and stuff where I might just put all the games I get in my next my next haul. Uh so yeah, it's a decent amount of manga, not as much as I thought. I guess I was actually quite reserved when buying manga in the last couple of months. So I haven't got too much. Decent amount of volumes and one box set. Uh so let's get straight into it. So the anime that I did pick up was Akira. Uh, I've heard absolutely amazing things about this movie, and I did want to read it, uh, watch it. Sorry, and if I do enjoy the movie, I'll probably save up and buy the uh, hardcover box set because that looks amazing. And I know that it goes into more detail than the actual movie itself. So if I do enjoy the movie, I'll definitely give the uh, box set a look. Uh, and if you have watched it, let me know what you thought of it, without like spoiling it or anything. And if I really enjoy the movie, I'll probably make a video about it. Or when I do buy the box, set, I'll talk about the movie as well. But I'm looking forward to this. This is actually my first anime that I've purchased myself and that I have. So this is kind of the beginning of a hopefully reasonably large uh, anime collection, but not as big as my manga collection. Because I do prefer manga over anime. Now, as usual, basically all of the haul is Viz, apart from one volume. And that is probably the best anime movie, but not my personal favourite, because that is My Hero Academia, The Two Heroes. But this is probably the best... Uh, anime movie and this is the manga adaptation of it which I believe came out after the movie and recently or a couple of days ago there was a spin-off series which kind of shows the the events happening from other characters perspectives so that was something that was quite interesting and in that recently released I don't know how many volumes is going to be in that set but it, uh, it looks quite interesting and this is three, three volumes so I just thought I'd pick up all three volumes and then read it all together and trying to kind of enjoy it from another perspective than the movie so hopefully the manga is good and the art looks good and i'm very interested to get to other koto shinkai works as well in the future so if you'd suggest any other ones i'd like to know now to the viz stuff the only volume or series that i guess you could say i've started but isn't really something brand new is boruto now i wouldn't really consider this a brand new series because it is just a continuation of the events of Naruto, I guess they restart the numbers, so you can consider a new series if you want. Now, I know that I haven't actually finished Naruto, but I uh, know that I'm going to be getting Naruto Boruto free, so I thought when I do finish Naruto, it'd be nice to have all the Boruto volumes up to date as well, so I can just continue and read those. So I just decided I'll buy them every so often. Uh, now, one thing that is an issue is the brand new artwork. I can see a lot of people complaining about it, and I do understand why. It's not great, and the new manga cut isn't amazing, but you have to give them time to grow into the Kishimoto art style. It's so better than mine, and hopefully it does get better over time. Uh, now a few continuations of series. We've got My Academia Volume 16. I absolutely love this cover with uh, Unbreakable Kirishima on it, and just the whole volume is amazing. The spine, uh, black and red, probably my favourite of the series. And just everything around the volume looks amazing. And I can't wait to get into the events of this. In manga form. Because this is like brand new stuff. And the anime did get uh, October 2018. Release date so that is quite a while to wait. So I'm hopefully the manga can keep me going. And I'm looking forward to. Experience my hero academia in manga form. Now the next series I have is volume 2 of Black Torch. I actually found out after doing my first impressions of Volume 1 that the series had been cancelled in Japan, I think due to low sales, after 5 volumes. I think it does have an end though, and it does end at 5 or 6 volumes, so at least there is a conclusion. But this just looked like it could have been an expensive world, and I actually really enjoyed the first volume, so it's kind of disappointing that um, it has been cancelled and it's going to end after 5 volumes, but hopefully it can still do well within those 5 volumes. And the artwork looks very nice. As well, if I may say so. 
So yeah, that's it for Black Torch Volume 2. Next up, another Volume 2 here, Doctor Stone. I recently finished Volume 1 of it and I thought it was really good. I definitely see why people are excited for the future of Shonen and what you consider the brand new Big Three. Because Doctor Stone Volume 1 was also amazing. I really like the unique artwork by Boichi. I think this is the only series that we do have published in English by him. I think his most famous series is Sun Can Rock, which I don't believe has a English publication. But I'll probably talk about this more in the first impressions because Doctor Stone is definitely something I would like to make first impressions on. So I'll save it for that. But all I can say is that I really enjoy the series. And it's kind of unfortunate there's only two volumes out of it because I'd really like to find out more. And that's why I haven't really read this yet because I'll probably wait until volume three maybe and read it then. Now probably my favourite manga of 2018, or the favourite manga that I picked up this year and decided to read, is The Promised Neverland, this final volume of the year and the final volume before the anime releases on January the 10th. So hopefully it's good and hopefully my volume review of it is also good. Uh, and I very much look forward to reading this. And when I do believe that this series will blow up, and when it does, I can say that I was there from the start of The Promised Neverland. And judging by the trailers and what the animation looks like I have actually have a lot of faith for Promise Neverland anime and I'm really looking forward to it on January the 10th I'll probably make a video just about the first episode of it and what I thought uh, so look out for that but yeah Promise Neverland I'm going to do a volume review for this when I read it I'm very much looking forward to it because I love Promise Neverland and the final just single volume of a continued series here is Children of the Worlds Volume 3. I haven't read Volume 2 yet, but I feel I'm going to enjoy this, and I at some point will probably watch the uh, Netflix original anime adaptation of it, because that does actually look quite good, and the animation looks nice on it. But yeah, big fan of the art, big fan of the series. It's very interesting. I've made a first impression on it, so you can go check it out. But uh, yeah, the series was amazing, or oh, the first volume, and I very much look, look forward to... Uh, Reading, it, reading more of it and these covers definitely help with it because they look amazing some of the best covers of any manga and the next couple series is a series that I am again continuing but just series that I've got multiple volumes for so let's just get straight into that firstly we have Food Wars now I wasn't really actually planning to pick any more of this up anytime soon but I was on about and I just saw these couple of volumes and thought why not continue it and see how, how the series progresses. Uh, I, cause I did enjoy the first volume enough, I just didn't think it was amazing and as good as people said so I didn't really think I'd enjoy the series if I didn't get into the first volume but then I realised I think it really takes three or four volumes uh, to really decide whether you're going to enjoy the series or not. Especially because I hear like the fan service and stuff does tone down as the series goes on. And like the artwork definitely drives me in. Uh, the food looks amazing. The character designs as well. Just everything about Food Wars is interesting to be honest. So I decided to give it another chance. And uh, go with it again. And read these couple of volumes and see what I thought of them. So I'm going to do that. I mean I haven't really read a lot of the series that I do have in this, in this haul. So bear that in mind. I'll probably do anything I have but I'll talk about it. Next up we have Assassination Classroom. Now this is a series I'm just waiting to purchase all the volumes to before I uh, read it. I got up to volume 6 and I do really enjoy the series. So I know that I'm 100% going to finish it. So I'm just going to wait until I buy everything before I uh, read the series. And I really do like the volume for Assassination Classroom as well. It's just like funny, interesting and quite unique. Seven there, and I, I do believe that this will probably end up getting a box out at some point. But to be honest, I don't really want to wait, so I uh, I am just going to purchase the volumes as they are in singles. Volume nine here, and probably one of my favourite volumes that I have with this nice uh, pattern here, nice glossiness. Volume ten of Assassination Classroom 
this is probably the first finish that'll be first series that I'll be looking to finish outside of like box set series in the new year because there's not only 11 more volumes which isn't too much to collect of it now probably the latest thing that I bought which I think I actually purchased today yeah I actually purchased this, these three volumes today a series that I made a video about recently uh, one that I really did enjoy and one that I'm could genuinely overtake as my favourite manga of all time and that is Margie. I just did have to pick up more of it because it was amazing. And I have volumes four, five, and six here. I really hope it keeps its consistency and is is as good as the first three. Because I do have high hopes for the series now. And this cover here, amazing. And I some of the covers later on in the series do look great as well. But I'm really uh, I've really got high hopes set for this series now. And I'm hoping it can live up to them now as well. Because the first three volumes took me by surprise and they were really, really good. So hopefully, well, you can continue to be just as good as well. So yeah. And the final series that I picked up some volumes for, before the box set, was another series that I made a first impressions on. And that is... Oh, these are out of order, one second, sorry. Croco's Basketball. Uh, probably my favourite sports series at the moment. I mean, I know is really good, but I've kind of stopped picking up volumes for that for right now. And actually, focus on this is the main sports series that I'm purchasing. Uh, I got volumes 3 and 4. I didn't get 5 and 6 because they didn't have them. 7 and 8 and 9 and 10. Or how many bosses? 2, uh, 4 and 5. So I've got a third of the series now. And once I get 5 and 6, I'll continue to read it. Uh, I know people complain about the fact that this didn't get a single volume release, but the paper quality is good and the spines don't bend. So I don't really mind paying paying less for two volumes, to be honest. Because it is just like, uh, the size of this is the size of two regular volumes. So, I don't really mind. Then 7 and 8 here. Uh, the covers for the series aren't great, and I'm not sure if like this in the ball here, in the basketball, is the other cover that they didn't use, or if it's just a random picture. So if you do know that, let me know. And this cover I do actually quite like, just Kuroko by himself on the front for volumes nine and ten. And I definitely, yeah, I'd prefer that they use that one to this one if it is the other cover, which I believe it is. So yeah, Coco's Basketball, probably my favourite sports series at the moment, although I've only read that in Haiku. I've obviously he's experienced Slam Dunk, Cross Game, and other series like that. But yeah, that's everything that isn't uh, the final, well, that's everything. Now i just got to show the box set, and then that's the haul. So let me just go grab that quickly. And the box set I purchased is, of course, the Tokyo Ghoul box set. Uh, here's the front here. The side of Carnegie holding the Comedian, can't really see it properly there. Side and the other side, which is just Jason Rize and Carnegie. Obviously, all the, I've taken all the volumes out of the box, it's just got a, like the usual lid opening at the top there. And on the inside, you've got Rize and Carnegie with a few of the objects on the side, on the inside of the boxes, on the sides, volumes that appear on the back of volumes. Back you have the cover for each volume, and then individual little squares. So yeah, I'll run you through the volumes now. I don't have volume two that's being lent to a friend currently. So, but that's the one that has a toke on the cover. So yeah, got volume one here with Carnegie and the spines. I really like just the layout of the Tokyo Gold volumes. I like the signature. Uh, look that they've given it and I the, the character design stuff is a lot different from the anime but I have no doubt that the manga is just going to be better quality because the anime is pretty shit so I'm really looking forward to actually getting the best of the Tokyo Ghoul storyline Hinami on the front of this cover here volume 3 this is obviously uh, my second manga box set that I have First one being Naruto box set two. So 
for uh, the next volume here, volume 4. So if you guys have read Tokyo Ghoul, let me know what you think, or if you have uh, watched the anime. If you've both watched the anime and read the manga, then uh, I assume you know which one's better, but let me know what you thought of both. Uh, oh, something I forgot to say is like when you open these up, you can see a little bit of what well, there's a double page spread. If you buy the uh, Tokyo Ghoul Illustrations art book, you can uh, see the volumes without like the cut because of the name of the series and stuff. You can see that without the cut, which is pretty cool. So if you're interested in that, this one's a bit messed up as well because Rize's going. Oh, not Rize, sorry. Uh, Juzo's going off to the left, yeah, but the hand comes around here, so it doesn't look great there. But you can kind of understand what they were going for, and if you get the art book, you can see you can see it properly. And uh, what to mention, there's a coloured page at the beginning of every single one of these volumes as well. I really do I like this; is probably my favourite coloured page of the series. And then on the inside coloured page, they just have some character uh, descriptions as well. Now volume 7, the one that was uh, shown on the the box and around it, as you can see here, the same that pattern that uh, was on the box and design, colour page on the inside there, I believe that's supposed to be kind of keep its hair is not white so I'm not exactly sure what's going on, and this is probably the last one I'll show you our folks, I don't really want to get into spoilers, but even for myself because I think that Route A for the anime completely differs from what actually happens in the manga, so I don't really want to spoil it for myself. So I'll just show you the covers from now on. I'm currently watching the re anime, and I actually thought re season one was quite good. I thought they got the pacing, pacing decently right. I mean, they still missed out quite a bit, but it was definitely better than the shit show that was Route A, so. I actually thought it might get back to track, but the fact that they tried to get about a hundred and something chapters in two, in, in like a hundred something chapters in like eight episodes is not, just not for me, I don't really, I've actually stopped watching, I've missed like three episodes now because I'm just really not enjoying it, and the way that it's going, to be honest, so I think I might just give up on the anime, I'll probably end up finishing it just because I've watched all the way through but it just doesn't look great. I really like this double page spread with uh, Amon and oh, I forgot I want to investigate his name. I think it's in this volume. Yeah, Mardo. Kira Mardo. I do like the double page spread. But yeah, so I can't give it up on the re-anime now. Just don't think it's great. But I do have highlights for the, for the manga because Suyashida definitely does know what he's doing. Then we have this volume, probably my favourite cover of the series. Really do like this one. Volume 12. I think this is the thinnest volume of the series. Team with Arma on it. Again, another a very nice volume. And Arma doesn't really play that much of a role in Tokyo Ghoul, especially the anime. But in Re, he's a much more essential character. And the final volume of the series, Tokyo Ghoul, volume 14. Oops, upside down here, sorry. Yeah, volume 14 of Tokyo Ghoul here with Kaneki on the cover. And you open up, it's just. Long ways, kind of key, and this is the final volume of the series. So, if I put everything together here, oh, taking everything down behind me as well. This is the entirety of Tokyo Ghoul. Now obviously, this isn't actually where the story ends. Tsushida did make a follow up series and a kind of continuation, something that you need to read to actually get the full Tokyo Ghoul experience, and that is Tokyo Ghoul Re, which finished in Japan at 16 volumes. Uh, finished, yeah, sorry, finished in Japan in 16 volumes. 
and I picked up the first two of those. Gregory one or two here. I actually prefer the art in re in the re volumes. I think so art actually improves quite a bit in these volumes. But storyline wise, I hear it's not as good as Tokyo Ghoul. Here's what the spine looks like. I'm comparing it to a Tokyo Ghoul one, you can see. And volume two here with Toka on the cover. Her hair is not the same colour in the anime and it still does the uh, double page spread thing slightly but just a bit different. There are currently eight volumes out of that at the moment so half of it is complete out here in English and although they might, well they probably will release a box set for it I will just buy the volumes as they come out. So yeah, definitely going to do a Tokyo Ghoul review when I finish it but I'll wait for my friend to read it and I've got other stuff to read as well. So this is quite reasonably long haul, I didn't actually get that many volumes, but I thought I'd actually slow down and talk about what I got a bit more. If there's any questions about any series that I had in this video, then let me know, or anything series that you want to suggest, or literally anything you want to talk about. Uh, this might be my last video before Christmas, so hopefully you guys have a fantastic Christmas if that is the case. But I will definitely be making a video between Christmas and New Year, so don't worry about that. Hopefully you guys have a great day. And peace.